Where my dogs at? What's going on, YouTube world? It's Cruising Nation 3 coming at you again with another video. Welcome to the dog cage, baby. Let's get into this. Listen, man. Why? Please tell me why Roger Goodell, NFL, PA, Players Association, what is going on? What have we come to? to this world, y'all. What have we gotten to? Let's call it what it stands for. The National Flag League. That's what it stands for. Not not for long. The National Flag League. You got on 20 pads. 20 pounds worth of pads. Helmet, shoulder pads, knee pads, thigh pads, ankle braces, ankle wrists, tape, everything. And you want a man to go full speed once I launch my body and I leave my feet. How can I stop in mid out? When a receiver going up for the ball and ducking his head, once I done took off, guess what? I'm gone. I can't stop. We're going to suspend Kareem Jackson. Four games? Really? Four freaking games. The hypocrisy. When we got running backs coming through the hole dropping their head. We got linemen in the trenches banging their heads against each other all game long. But you want to talk about head-to-head -head collision? It's head-to-head collision every single play. What you think the D-line doing? Offensive line banging each other's heads all day. Game. So their heads don't matter. They CTE don't matter. Running backs coming through the hole, dropping their head and getting hit. It's head, 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 head all goddamn game long. That's the point of the game. I understand. And partly, the partial part of it is, is from the older guys. We got to take some responsibility. And I'm going to say we because we as people. The older guys, the college guys accepted all that money. Talk about they having brain problems, CTE. And they had to get a lawsuit to pay out all that money. This is the freaking result. The object and what you taught, even right now into little leagues to this day, high school, college, even in the NFL. Your job is to separate the man from the football. And the only way you can do that is to put your shoulder pads on a joker body. Y'all, I don't know. Listen, I'm not a mathematician. Is there, if there, is there a mathematician in the building? If you're watching this video, is there somebody with a PhD, a scientist, somebody who can help me understand? Because I, I probably don't get it. Y'all, my head comes before my shoulders. Even if I turn my shoulders to try to hit you, guess what? My head still going to come first. So there's going to be a slight head-to-head -head collision. Y'all just seen Nick Chubb almost get his legs ripped off, knee almost tore up because a guy went low on him. You ask any football player. That's how I know y'all people in these committees never played the game. You ask any football player would they rather get hit high or hit low. Your legs. Don't nobody want to get hit in their goddamn legs. I want to get hit in my chest. We can't block no more. We can't crack back block no more. We can't hear the joker talk about defensive receiver. Guess what is part? To be able to intimidate a man from coming across that middle. Y'all talk about these guys got more science, more athletic, more skilled, but can't take a hit? Jalen Hurt, the dude put, it got, got so bad last night. They gave Christian Watkins a 15-yard penalty that led to a touchdown because he barely touched Jake, Jalen Hurts. 15-yard penalty for that. Y'all should be thrown out of the NFL. Roger Goodell, you should be suspended. You should lose your ownership. Ain't no way in the world you call a 15-yard penalty on that. And they want to talk about Kareem Jackson done had five personal foul hits. This is second ejection. It won four games. The dude we put on earth to do as a football player. Put our helmet and shoulder pads on the joker body. 
the separating, the look inside his heart to see if this something you want to do. That's the whole point of this game. Find out where your heart at. Find out if this is what you really want to do. What Brian Dawkins did. Brian Dawkins said, I want to hit this joker so hard to find out if this is what he want. Hit the man so hard, I told you, thank you, Jesus. That's what we talking about. We done got soft as a society. Not just football, not just basketball, not just baseball, at home. To where we play a violent contact sport. And y'all want a man to change physics, gravity, the law of gravity. That some of y'all got PhDs went to school six and seven years for. And you can't understand that once a man take off, that he can't stop his body in midair. Coming 100 miles, 40 miles per hour, both of us going speed. If he drop his head, just do the math. If he drop his head after the otter took off, guess what? It's a possibility our helmet's going to hit. Even we done seen guys actually try to go low and the receiver jump up and by the time he come down, oh, it's targeting. I'm not targeting him. I'm trying to miss him. But I at least want to be able to hit him. How many times we done seen jokers act like they going out of bounds and a joker let up and they turn up the sideline and get a touchdown? Or act like they about to slide and you don't hit them, you let up, and guess what? They run for a touchdown. The NFL bylaws. We need more YouTubers, y'all. We need guys in the NFL. We need guys to actually go to school. We need to do, we need to do studies on this right here. So the referees and the commissioners. And everybody in the league office can understand the difference. You can't change the law of gravity in full speed. It looks worse on replay. It slowed down. But at the speed of a bullet, that's how quick it is. Of course, it's going to look like it slowed down. If I slowed your life down, it's going to look like, God dang. I see stuff. Yeah, you're going to see stuff that's really not there in the full speed of things. Everything looks worse when it slowed down. And we got these. Listen, I don't want to hear, oh, we, you, it's your old guys. I don't want to hear that bull job. It's a physical game. If you don't want to play, don't play. We got guys still to this day walk around, crippled, knees hurt. You know what they say? If I can do it all over again, I'll do the same goddamn thing. Some of these guys don't even got concussions. You can't touch the quarterback no more. You can't hit the receivers. Tell us what you want. The, the, the basic, people don't even want to watch football no more. You can't tackle. You can't touch the receiver. You can't breathe on the quarterback. What can the defender do? And I'm an offensive guy. What can the defender do? Help us. The only thing they got is intimidation. If I'm knowing I'm about to get hit, guess what that do? They call that gator arm. They used to call that gator arms. When you know you're about to get hit, you put gators up. What's that do? You intimidate it, so it, it, it makes you think twice about going up exposing yourself to catch the ball. That benefits the defense. But all y'all want to do is worry about offense. It's bull crap. Joker's sick of this stuff, man. This ain't no old man get off my lawn type jump, man. This real football. If you ain't never played football, I don't think you probably want to watch this video. You cannot tell me if you played football, put on your shoulder pads, put on your pants, that you agree with this stuff. I understand you want to try to protect cats. But God dang, four game suspension? These ain't no personal files. A personal foul will be if you're running the ball and you're running out of bounds, I just come up and hit you out of nowhere. How is it a personal foul when I'm doing my job? If you don't want to play the sport, go wrap burgers, go flip burgers at Burger King McDonald's. We, that's almost like telling somebody who work at McDonald's, don't, put the burger, don't wrap the burger in plastic. Just hand it to you out the window. What's the point of putting no pads for? I understood when it first started a hundred years ago. They was out there with that that little plastic rubber hat with no nothing on. All of us grew up playing outside with no helmets and shoulder pads on. Hot butter biscuit. 
Those were the names of the games. Now, all of a sudden, we got all the protection in the world and we can't hit? Man, this, this bull, man. This straight bull crap, man. That's why nobody don't want to watch the game. That's why guys don't want to watch the game. That's why the ratings go down. Nobody believe in this stuff no more. So sensitive. You act like the man trying to go out there and really hurt the man. No, I'm trying to knock his butt out so he don't catch the ball so my team can win. It's called football. Tackle football, not flag football. And the minute we get our minds made up what we want to do, is it going to be the National Football League or the National Flag League? Let us know what we're want. We going to do so we can prepare to put flags on and we'll pull them. But don't tell us to put a helmet on, shoulder pads, knee pads, hip pads, ankle braces, tape, gloves, all this stuff on for what? Not to use it? Make up your freaking minds, man. It's tackle football, not flag. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure y'all hit the notification button so you'll be notified. Where my dogs at? And we ain't talking about puppies. Welcome to the dog cage, baby.